I'm not caring about the sound design and all that in this game anyways. So. If you guys can hear the TV, let me know. Let me know. I will turn it down. Or we'll go back to headset. We'll deal with it. I got it really low, but... Might not be enough, man. Turned it up a little bit. Just let me know, man. If there's even a soul, like, I don't even know if it may. Ugh. I almost have half a mind to do this without glasses. These are just like painful, dude. Definitely going to go in next week and get these fixed. And if they can't be fixed, man, I just want a different pair, dude. See, all these like things I can't get yet, kind of stuff. This is what, see, this is what I was worried about. That there wouldn't be, like, things to break, you know, break up the combat. Like, the combat's cool and all, but... Just battle after battle after battle, I don't think. It would be terribly interesting. Like, even XCOM has, like, all of the shit you do in your base and shit in between to, like, break it up. Final Fantasy has a lot of menu work and... Less repetitive combat in general. World map and story and all that shit. Hard to believe people can make a pair of glasses so uncomfortable and not like notice. It's like when you're testing them at the eye doctor, man, you're testing them for like a solid like couple minutes, man, you know? If that. It's like, I don't know what kind of issues I'm gonna have when I get back, have them for a day with my fucking headset on and shit. <clears throat> Let's be real. Garden Hopper. Mm. Something real, right? And my eyelashes. My eyelashes and eyebrows are long. So like they dirty you can see right where they dirty the fucking glasses. Okay, bad guy, trouble melt, blah blah blah. So it doesn't even tell me what it does. Alright, cool. We'll find out eventually, man. Where if you guys hear if there's weird audio any audio issues, skipping, anything like that, if you hear echo. If you hear my speakers, let me know. It's cool. Talk mad shit. I don't give a fuck. I'll make sure it's good. It's hard for me to really test them myself. Just period. And then let alone breaking up the game and shit. <clears throat> I just need my headset off, man. Fucking ears hurting. Pressure, extra pressure with these glasses. Or just, ugh. Hoping after they've fully just like healed, if I still have issues with the glasses, then I have to I have to get them checked. Wait. 
I should really do some mic work, like compressors and shit like that. Because I feel like you can always kind of hear my PC from the little VODs I watched. It's like it's kind of this the constant like fan in the back. Nothing crazy, but the little optimizations what end up feeling. Like if you stack all those little optimizations together, I don't know, I feel like it just gives it a better level of quality. Oh, it's a damage bonus. That's cool. <clears throat> Instead of just like, I like that the percentages are very simple. Cover, half cover 50, full cover, you know, zero. You can break them. Like in XCOM, too much of the, uh, the variances is affects your accuracy. I mean, your damage too. It, it does a little bit of everything. And XCOM, obviously, XCOM's like way deeper. I mean, better game and shit too. But, <clears throat> but sometimes there's a little too much accuracy work, which I like that in this. There's it's less about accuracy and just more about random little mechanics and damage bonuses and stuff. Okay. Only fifty percent. Hundred percent there. Is there like stealth in this ship? I highly doubt it. Hundred percent as well. Could just take the shot, or do that. See, I don't get what the special immunity to super effects. I'm guessing it's like the honey and all that shit. Might as well just do it. So when triggered, I get it. It's just like, uh, what's the name of that ability in fucking XCOM? Yes. I feel like you guys can hear the TV, surely. Let me know, man. For real. I don't know why I did that. Doesn't really matter, but I'm behind full cover and shit. I think we did this a little bit during Nino Kuni. And we didn't have that many issues with it. The speaker, but. It's a little louder right now, so. Oh, we do have guys on top. Who do I want to combo first, though? I think we can get everybody over there. Free.
heal him. That's not horrible. I mean, it's it's not great. I should go for the hundred percent, but could be a lot, a lot worse options, man. Too great either, but I just wanted to get up here. Can't kill that guy either way, might as well go for a hundred percent. This might be one away from breaking, but there's only two dudes, so. I want to buy a Switch, but Nintendo don't make it. Makes it hard for me to buy one. But I don't, I don't have more games like No More Heroes. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if they had more games like No More Heroes, it just mean more third party shit. Or, like, specifically Suda 51 games. Well, the system's new enough. So maybe. Maybe you'll get what you wish. Maybe not, though. I haven't played No More Heroes yet. I plan on it, but... <clears throat> I'll try to do it before the third one comes out. It's cool that they're trying to get games like that, though. But like the other systems and shit don't have. Or that people want, but nobody's gonna fund, you know. It's kinda like Bayonetta. Nintendo funded Bayonetta too. Otherwise it wouldn't have been made. Playing the modded Wii. What have you been playing, man? We just played Xenoblade X before this, and Yakuza Zero before that. I don't really care about getting hit that much. I mean, I guess we could just go for the fifty. I could go for the hundred. So fuck it, man. These weapons suck. I don't know, I kind of dabble in everything. <clears throat> on every platform for the most part. Not been a whole lot of Switch shit. I played Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, which both of those were great, and now this. And this is like, I mean, I'm not gonna lie and say I was super pumped to play this, but it's a fun game. After this, we'll probably play Yakuza Kiwami, and then I'm gonna just kind of dabble in other shit. Melee and Double Dash. Those are good games, man. Double Dash was one of my favorite. I think Mario Kart 8 takes the cake for me on my favorite Mario Kart, but Double Dash was close second. Games I never really could play before in the week because I just couldn't aim with it because my TV was shit. Your sensor bar position? Oh, okay. There's some good stuff on the Wii, man. I haven't gone through the entire catalog myself, but I mean... 
There's good options, man. It's good you can catch up. Play some of those. I'm all about catching up. I'm always. I got a huge list of backlog shit. Every system. Tube TV. Character mem. If you guys hear echo, let me know. I'm using my speakers because my ears are dying right now. Put my head's up. If you hear echo though, I'll turn off the TV shit. GGTVs have no actual flat services unless you straight up buy them pretty much because they have one. Like a place to set the sensor? Yeah, I used to um, have a really just huge, just like standard def, fucking big, fucking just huge, long box of a fucking TV. It's pretty much just like a, like, you know, normal. It was like to my shoulder and just like this, this giant thing. That was back when I used uh, at my house, my parents' house, before all the HD shit came out. And, um,. Uh, we use the Wii for and you could just set the sensor just boom right on top there damn dude these glasses are these are killing it man I'm not gonna lie these are very uncomfortable very not I don't know who designed these this is a fucking retard I could get it working below the TV. Yeah, I always had it above. I never tried it below before. All right, I'm gonna put back on the headset. Ugh. Ugh. Mid boss. There's a lot of enemies here. I'm gonna port a Mario Maker to the Switch. Yeah, I don't see why they don't make more of their ports. I mean, I'm not a huge, like, oh, let's port everything, but. I, I don't see, like, why not, you know? It's like, I don't have to buy the damn ports. I think if they're gonna do ports to not make new games, then that's shitty, but... The Wii U wasn't terribly fucking popular, man. Let's be fucking real. <clears throat> like, I have a Wii U. I've played... A lot of shit on my Wii U. But I'm not about to sit here and say that <laughs> most people did the same. They had a few issues with Mario Kart 8, but I liked it overall. I'm 
I just lost interest in Smash over the years. Like, I play each one, but I play them for less and less time. I have my issues with the light marker right eight is some of the track choices. But I mean with the DLC it's fine. But I mean that's DLC, it costs money, you know, so it's kinda hard to really rate that the same. Yeah, I don't see why they don't pour Mario Maker with all that content and shit. Like it'd be an easy port over. Some mystery. I think we gotta get this dude next to like some weird cover. I don't know how we can do that. The FPS issues, man. Yeah, Brawl. Definitely not my favorite one. Not at all. I like Smash 4 a lot better. A lot more, but I don't know. I just don't have a whole lot of people to play those with. I don't care about playing them online. Like, they're cool to fuck around with, but... I lose interest a little bit in solo playing those. Controller options, yeah. I mean, I didn't hate the uh, the Wii U Pro, man. Wii U Pro controller is good. It's a good controller. I'm making them, yeah. I don't know. Nintendo's funky, man. And just look at all how they handle all their online shit, their interactions and stuff. I feel like the game's now too loud. Look at like Splatoon 2, voice chat and shit. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I know Smash has a lot of... I mean, at least they like can put out balance changes and they add in a lot of DLC and shit. I just don't see why Nintendo... When there is a market for something that people will like for sure spend money on, like GameCube controllers or something, like why they don't just like <clears throat> just deliver that kind of shit. Like, it's not even just the GameCube controllers, like they could have just sold the fucking adapter for like money, man. Like, the adapter was, like, what, only available? It was, like, some really weird shit. It was, like, only available, like, either at a certain place or a fucking, like, certain time or, like, a special pre-order. I, I don't even fucking remember, but it was some fucking ridiculous shit, right? Oh, you can get the adapter now in those shit? That's good. <clears throat> Paying shit tons. Oh, yeah, I mean... I don't know. You could just use a Wii U Pro controller. <laughs> those really aren't bad controllers at all. If they ported it over, I mean, this controller, the Switch Pro, is one of the better controllers I've used. You could just do this. I mean, I, I if people want GameCube controllers, then they should totally make them available. I mean, they're doing all this, like, you know, 
nostalgia cash grabs with the SNES retro bullshit and all that, but they won't just like sell a controller. I'd be curious as how much market there really is. I'm sure they could at least make their money's worth them. Make a couple blocks. Where do I want to actually go? <clears throat> Switch Pro's controller with the Wii U? Yeah, for sure. The Switch Pro controller is really nice. Yeah, my biggest issue with the Wii U... Ugh, like, the D-pad's great. Like, I use it for, like, D-pad work and stuff, like retro games. But the fucking, uh, the stick at the top right is, like, fucking cancer, man. I don't mind the stick at the top left and then, like, a stick at the bottom. But, like, both at the top's weird. Because I like the claw, too, so, like, I can't even, I can't even do that. Oh, the buttons are small? I mean, they're about the same size as most controllers, man. At least the uh, Xbox ones. Maybe slightly smaller than the Xbox ones. People regard that controller as pretty, pretty good. I mean, nothing's gonna be as big as the Switch Pro controller. This thing's fucking with my massive buttons, but I can see that. I like the Wii U Pro controller. I just think it's better for like playing old retro games. If you don't have like a. Uh, like a buffalo or some shit. Then it's a good option. This has got a good D-pad and shit. It's either bo both bottom for me or top right and bottom left. Stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I prefer bigger buttons over smaller buttons. It's just easier to do shit, right? Oh, great. Everything's out of range. I'm fucking attack. So that explosion does hit really far away, and that's why we're taking so much damage. Uh, I hate the PS4 controller. I don't like it at all. But I think it's more... Not the layout as much as I hate what it's made out of, the battery life, everything that's like really stupid. Like, I really don't care for uh, DualShock 4 at all. Half the time I'm getting my games on the Xbox One now, not because I like it at all, but because like I just don't like dealing with the DualShock 4. I got like sweatier hands too, so you're sliding all over on the DualShock, which made out of like really shitty material, the sticks. <clears throat> yeah, I think Xbox controllers and like the Switch Pro, I feel like those are like the best layouts or my favorite layouts. Wii Pro has an issue with sticks, but it's got good D-pad. The thing is, like, every other person, every other company's D-pad sucks except Nintendo. It's like, I kind of just stick a lot of the time to, um, their shit because, uh, when it comes to um, any kind of D-pad shit. Like, I switch controllers all the time, depending on, like, the game. Like, if I'm gonna play something on PC with sticks, I'll get my Xbox One controller. If I'm gonna play with D-pad, I'll get either the Switch Pro or the Wii Pro. Yeah, I don't like Sony's uh, D-pad at all. It's not good for games where you have to really go hard, where you're almost sliding your finger across. It's fine if you're just, like, casually doing some D-padding, but if you're doing, like, some really hardcore shit, like, it's just not as quick, you like. Fucking great, great your thumb. Xbox D pads have always been bad. I still are. I'm trying to get this person out of here, dude. I don't even think, like, 
it can attack this high, so I'm careful. But I keep fucking not having enough room to get somewhere because she runs. <clears throat> After she gets burned. Uh, the Xbox One's D-pad still shit. It's very bad. But I think the, what the sticks are made out of, the controller, just layout, and everything it's made of is really solid. Oh, thanks to the host too, Cag. I don't know if I already mentioned it. If I could get the battery life of a Nintendo controller with the same D-pads with the fucking sticks and like the material of like a fucking Xbox One controller and maybe the buttons of a fucking Switch Pro then <laughs> that would be perfect. I don't know what I like for... I don't know what I like for triggers though. The Switch Pro triggers are pretty good. I don't like the flappy ones on the PS4 as much. These ones click a little bit but not too crazy. 